ESPN Cleveland. LeBron, Colin Kaepernick has inspired a lot of athletes around the country to take a stand for police violence. What are your thoughts on that? And have you thought of, of doing anything? And if so, what? Um, first of all, um, uh, I'm, I'm all in favor of anyone, athlete, or non-athlete being able to express what they believe in in a peaceful manner. And that's exactly what Colin Kaepernick is doing, and I respect that. Um, I, I think you guys know uh, when I'm passionate about something, I speak upon it. Um, you know, so, you know, me standing for the national anthem is something I will do. Um, that's who I am. Um, that's what I believe in. But that doesn't mean I don't respect and don't agree with what Colin Kaepernick is doing. You have the right to voice your opinion, stand for your opinion, and, and he's doing it in the, in the most peaceful way I've ever seen someone do, do something. Um, what I do not uh, like about the situation is the negative attention that has been thrown upon him from certain people because um, it's, not, it's not deserved. Um, you know, he's, he was very uh, educated, uh, very smart, very candid, and very... Uh, demanding about what he wanted to do and he didn't ask anybody else to join him and he did it in the most peaceful manner i've ever seen someone stand up and do something uh so i can respect that um and, and things that i do personally um when i'm knowledgeable about it and i'm passionate about it i do that as well and you guys know uh when that, when those things are because i tell you lebron john tellich fox eight um at the espies when you and a few of your peers uh, stood up there before uh, the ceremony and said what you said. Uh, the league is just, you're probably aware, came out with a, a, a letter from the commissioner that they would be more engaged in, in the community and trying to create more opportunities. Is this the type of uh, a statement that you feel can create the best kind of change and the most positive type of change? Well, I think uh, for, for us, uh, we stood up there understanding what, what the state of America was in at that point in time and what our personal feelings were. We're not politicians, so we went up there saying America is bad and things of that nature. That's not our, that's not our, our position because America has done so many great things for all of us. Um, those were our personal feelings, and the one thing that we wanted to get out of that is that we continue the conversation. And the fact that you're saying that and the fact the league has come out and said that they want to continue to get into the communities and, and hone in on you know, what's important, uh, we feel like we did our job, and uh, we just want the we just want the, the the conversation to continue to go, to understand that uh, you know police brutality and uh, you know killings and things of that nature of innocent people, and um, you know it's, it's not it's not it's not the answer, um, and, and you mourn um, the lives of so many innocent people, and you pray for the families of so many innocent people. Um, you know, over this course of time, in a short period of time, you know, so, you know, you feel for that, you know, and for me, um, my personal feelings is that, you know, I got a 12-year-old son and a 9-year-old son and a 2-year-old daughter, and, you know, I look at my son being four years removed from driving his own car and being able to leave the house on his own, and, and it's a scary thought right now to think, you know, if my son gets pulled over, you know, and you tell your kids, if you just apply and you just listen to the to the police that you know they will be respectful and things will work itself out and you see these videos that continue to come out it's a scary it's a scary ass situation that if my son calls me and said he's been pulled over that I'm not that confident that things are going to go well and my son is going to return home and my son just started the sixth grade so you know, we just want the conversation to continue to, 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 to keep going. And, and, and I don't have the answer. None of us have the answer. But the more times that we can talk about it, the more times we can conversate about it, um, because I'm not up here saying that all police are bad because they're not. I'm not up here saying that all, you know, all kids are great and all adults are great because they're not. But at the same time, all lives do matter. And it's not just about, it's not black or white. It's not, it's not that, it's, it's everyone. So. It's just it's, it's tough being a parent right now when you have a, a preteen, you know. And uh, but the conversation is, is is continued from the from the SB, uh, speech that myself, CPD, Wade and Mello had, and and that's definitely a good thing.